Hello everyone, this is Santiago Vasquez and I'm Martin Cervantes and welcome to the Dad Pod where communication truly 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 matters matters it's been quite a while but uh, we're back and uh, this is going to be a sweet short video a very open conversation open mic between the two of us um, I feel blessed and I'm grateful for Mr. C he was checking on me uh, every day unfortunately I did get sick with the COVID and uh, but I'm back I'm totally negative I have the antibodies and uh, I'm gonna lie to you I try to stay in shape and uh, and it hit us hard it hit my family very very hard you know uh, uh, I think some of us think that this is not real that this is just like the common cold and things like that I'm not a, 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 a professional I don't know anything mm. about this and I try to follow the science and things like that and I'm gonna do whatever to cooperate and and, and you know although yes the masks are annoying and yeah, honestly personal opinion I dislike them now I'm tired but uh, if it is what I need to do I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go it's, it's a lot easier to cooperate yeah. than to suffer the consequences and this is our own personal mm -hmm. my own per yeah, personal of course, opinion of course, you of know uh, we're not we're not here mm -hmm. to to tell anybody to impose to ourselves no, nah, no, nah, no not nah. at all mm -hmm. not at all but you know I'm a strong believer most of you guys know that it takes a village absolutely Mr. it Shane. takes a village to raise a child it takes a village village to raise a young person in our community mm -hmm. uh, for us to get involved for us to be a part of his or her life not just as uh, disciplinaries mm -hmm. but as someone that we can help educate guide and 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 help them understand the do's and don'ts, the consequences that, that uh, help them visualize their future. You know, we are dealing with uh, uh, another death in our community, two of them, that just happened on Friday. <clears throat> well, we were talking about this um, without trying to get emotional about this. We always want to be factual. Today is December 7th. 2021 today is also Pearl Harbor Day yes um, 80 years ago the United States of America entered war the Japanese decided to attack Pearl Harbor we enter war and we know the rest of the history and so we're grateful for those men and women very who very. served our country and uh, committed themselves to the ultimate sacrifice. Many of them lost their lives. And uh, so we're grateful for them. Thank you so much to all the veterans. Now, <clears throat> 241 homicides in our city. 241. In the uh, metro area. In the metro area. I apologize, in the metro area. Out of those 241, um, I don't want to give you, I don't know the exact number, but based on what I... What I know, we believe that we have either between 49 to 51 homicides right Correct. now Correct. in Kansas City, Kansas. Those are large numbers. Last year, we have 53. Uh, the year hasn't come to an end. Those are large numbers. We can put a police officer in every corner, and that's not going to solve the problems. No, no. And that's when ourselves, the community, the village, comes into play to be a part of you know our growing society and and you know sometimes we don't take time to understand our youth you know uh, this is 2021 we are not back in 1958 where things were a lot more simpler we didn't have social media we didn't have the internet and the way of communicating was personal we don't do that anymore and I, I'm guilty of this at times because uh, uh, sometimes I'll, I will text my son when he's upstairs you know hey dinner's ready or come down here you know I, I completely understand that you know but uh, we have really lost touch of that one personal 
uh, interpersonal communication. Yes, yes. So you know, you 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 uh, by you saying um, we can put a police officer in every corner. Is that gonna solve the problem? Is is it gonna make it a better life for all of us? Do we have enough money to put a police officer no, in every corner? No, we don't. Our city doesn't have enough money to put. As a matter of fact, we're short. Uh, or numbers or police uh, numbers are short. We need more police officers for the for the size of our city. Yes. And uh, but the deal is this: that if you lack discipline, that if you lack responsibility and accountability, if you don't make yourself accountable and responsible for your actions, whether you like it or not, you're always going to be responsible. You might not say I'm accountable, right? But if you're not responsible, if you don't take responsibility and accountability for your actions, you will continue to make or commit the same mistakes. And some of these mistakes can become major crimes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and I've witnessed this for many, many years already. Yeah. You know, it starts with something very small. Uh, it's almost like going to elementary school. We graduate to middle school, high school, sometimes to college. The way this we see it on the streets is like you go to juvenile hall, you go to county jail, maybe state, and then federal penitentiaries. Yeah. Is is that and, what we want for yeah. our? I, and and we are creating recidivism. There is more recidivism, recidivism, and then there are generational families, generational families of generational criminals. And this, this, this listen, the truth hurts. The truth hurts, and mm -hmm. there are certain. Uh, you listen, I'm I'm not a. I don't want to sound here like I'm extremely educated, but there are external and internal locuses of control, meaning things that influence your your, your life. And uh, the, it begins at home, and then the influence that you get from the outside and whatever might be going in your mind at mm -hmm. the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, uh, think about this for... Um, for a second, you and I were a product of our environment, and that's yes, part of that are. village. Yes, part of that are. village. If you yes. surround yourself with, with knuckleheads, <laughs> to quote a famous president, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you yes. will end up becoming a knucklehead. Yes, and yes. sometimes it takes more than just an epiphany. In order for us to elevate our level of consciousness. Sometimes it takes a drastic change, and that drastic change takes place because something at times malevolent takes place in your life, mm -hmm. but you must be willing to change. You must be willing to change. The law-abiding citizen does not go around committing crime. It doesn't go around, oh, I'm, I'm going to go out there and start hurting people or, or, or committing homicides. No, that's not the law by this. Mm -hmm. No. You know, uh, you touch a point that it takes a, a, a really a, a something in your life that uh, will help you see the light. You You've know, been there. I, I've been there. My, the birth of my son was really a, a uh, an eye-opener. It was something that helped me see myself at that time. What, what am I gonna offer this young life? Yes. What do I have to bring to the table? Born, bo born innocent. Mm -hmm. no, nobody is born saying, no. Oh well, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a, a a felon. I'm gonna be a criminal no. for the rest of my life. We no, learn no, that. No, we become unless mm -hmm. there is something mm -hmm. psychologically speaking, mm -hmm. probably something wrong with you. But I'm not a medical doctor to acknowledge that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and you know, uh, and some of our youth uh, were dealt a bad hand already. Absolutely, you know, we, absolutely, and that that's all they know. So we can't really take a blame or, or blame them for their actions. Because, you know, some of us go back generations and then it's been a, a, a 
every generation we continue with the same thing, the cycle, the vicious cycle, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and the, in the, the school uh, district, we focus a lot in our youth to help them, to guide them, to, to show them the way, to, to uh, uh, you know, teach them the right thing and all that. And, and we're doing the right thing, but they go back to what they know. They go back to the same thing. And it's like we have to uh, redirect them every single day. Every single day. day. You, you, look, we have spoken about this before in the past. There are social cultural, there are anthropological issues, educational issues, financial issues um, that impact our lives every day every mm -hmm. single day and um poverty alone is not the only cause for people to become criminals because i know where my family came from i know that for a fact you come from poverty mm -hmm. i come from poverty of course and from being coming from a foreign land and and if we are not willing to guide the youth, this type of crimes involving young people between the ages of 14 to 25 will continue to go on and on and, and on, on and on and on forever. And it will escalate even more to uh, bigger numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we, have we become sensitized to all this? Do the, we, do we not feel... Are we becoming desensitized? Yeah, I, I, I believe the, that. The more, the more... Are we, are, I mean, is, is this our new norm? Is, is this well, what we're doing now? This uh, is our new norm. We don't have any feeling. Well, remember what I was telling you that even back in the uh, early 1990s, during the, um, during the peak of... Um, the uh, crack cocaine uh, craze in the United States of America, uh, and, and why the county was in trouble financially was our, our county did not have what it has today. We were averaging 70, 80, anywhere between 60 to 70 plus homicides. So, and, and I want you to keep these numbers in your head. 241 homicides as of today in the metro area in the metro area one just one is is too many one is too many one, one is, is too, too many. many and i hate to tell you this uh, uh uh crime doesn't care crime doesn't care if you're white black brown green yellow red purple it doesn't matter it doesn't care if you are male female it doesn't care about your gender, it does not care. But what is the answer to all this? What are we supposed to do? What can we do? What can I bring to the table? One thing is for sure, we cannot give up. Exactly. We cannot exactly. give up. Exactly. And uh, that if we are outspoken about an issue it's not just being about outspoken it's about doing something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is it that i can do at my personal level to improve somebody else's life what can i do what is it what can i do yes yes and and it can be something as simple as just listening to the youth mm -hmm. listening to a young man uh, today, uh, uh, some of you guys uh, know that I posted on, on Facebook and uh, asking for a prayer for myself because uh, I was in contact with someone that was directly uh, uh, not involved but impacted. impacted by this shooting that happened on Friday and to see how his life has been affected 
It, uh, I mean, I was to the point of breaking down, uh, crying. Mm. I, I, I couldn't hold back. It's like, wh what can I do? What else can I do? You know, uh, a lot of people have told me, I love your job. I would love to do the, your job. I love what mm -hmm. I do. And believe me, this is my passion. I love what I do. And, and to be able to, to communicate and, and help our youth transform their lives. It's, it's, it's my passion. I, I love doing this. But what people don't understand or we don't see sometimes is what goes on behind the scenes. You know, uh, shootings like this uh, that happen, a lot of times I know the victims and I know the person that committed the crime including their families. What do I tell those families? How can I bring comfort to those families knowing, especially when they know that I know both sides? You know, and those are the things that I have to deal with a lot. And uh, I do have someone that I talk to. Prayer has helped me a lot. And that's what we need. We need to pray for one another. We need to pray for our county and, and pray for peace. Pray for understanding. Pray for a better future. Uh, uh, sometimes we pray for a house. We pray for a car, you know. Uh, and, and my understanding as, as a Catholic, uh, a Christian Catholic, I know that God is going to give me what I need, not what I want. And that's one thing that I've learned the hard way. He's going to give me what I need in order to better myself in order to make a difference, in order to be able to sit down and help somebody. You know, not, I want a Corvette. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> and my wife already said no. So, you know, <laughs> that's strike two. So, but I need prayer. Uh, uh, I, I need that spiritual guidance in order for me to, to, to be able to sit down and listen to our youth and hopefully find a solution mm. give them the answer that they need not what they want because even when you know going to court we want to hear this if it doesn't happen then we are disappointed because i wanted to go home but uh, sometimes that's what we need when our youth needs to be I, I wouldn't say punished but they need to be incarcerated with time out if you ask that's how we want to see it in order for them to have time to think and be alone and say, am I doing the wrong thing? What can I do differently? Well, discipline, it starts from within. If I want to have a million dollars, I'm going to have to start, I need to start by saving a penny. If I want to lose a pound, right? I need to start by losing the very first gram and I need to start watching what I observing, watching, making sure that I burn more calories than the calories that I consume. And that takes discipline. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there ought to be a class. There ought to be a class that teaches the importance of discipline, the importance of civility, the importance of what it's like to be humane towards mm. kind towards one another. Listen, it is easy to pull the trigger. <laughs> it is easy to clinch the fist, right? My hands are used for creation. I have a thought and I create with my hands. But at the, at the same time, I can have a thought and that thought can be transmitted to my hands and I can destroy with my hands. And, and you know, and, and that's what we need. And, and one of the main reasons why we're doing this is to bring people together, not to create division. Correct. Not, not to say, okay, well, you're, look, you're on, on doing your podcast or so you think you're all that. No, yeah. no, it's, yeah. it's not about that. And uh, most of you guys know who we are. We're not about this. We're not about fame or anything like that. We are about creating opportunities mm -hmm. for our youth. We're about bringing people together 
working together. So, you know, it's like almost we yeah. want to challenge you to to think, what can I bring to the table? If, you know, if you're a teacher, mm -hmm. if you're a police officer, if you are a parent, an uncle, a brother, speak to that person who is in need and tell them, look, you got to get up. You got to wake up. Mm -hmm. It is easy to go out there and cause destru destruction and mayhem. It mm -hmm. is easy. It's easy. Now try building a Lego. This is not a commercial for Lego, of course. <laughs> try to create a Lego masterpiece, mm -hmm. right? It's easy to be like Godzilla or King Kong and come around yeah. and destroy everything. But uh, that's uh, easy. At the same time, I've, I've um, found out and I realized that for parents, it's hard to be a prophet in your own land, you know, because parents, a lot of times, that our kids, our kids see us like the enemy. Oh, you just don't want me to do this. Oh, you just don't want, want me to do that. But, and, and that's fine. If that's how they see you, bring somebody else in, a, a neutral person that can help you with whatever situation mm -hmm. you're dealing with. You know, but a lot of times, including myself, I had to deal with all this to swallow my pride. We don't want to ask for help. Oh, I can handle this. I'll be all right. You know, and that's not always the solution. So let's, uh, let's, let's mm -hmm. come together. Yeah, let's, let's come together. We're coming almost to an end of this uh, little video. The local politician, the state politician, or the one at the federal level is not going to solve your problems. My problems, his problems. Okay? They won't. It's up to us, right, Mr. C? It is up to us because if I sit back and just wait for things to come to me, it ain't going to happen. Now, I do, now that you brought up politicians, <laughs> uh, and not to get political, <laughs> not to get political, but remember, you were elected to do a job for our community, all right? To do a job for the people that you represent. So let's, let's work together. Let's bring all these forces together and come up with ideas. I, I know there's many organizations going around and, and, and if you want to volunteer with one of them, more power to you. But you know, it starts in every single level, not just with parents, not just with the school. You know, school district has a lot to deal with with students now. Uh, the pandemic didn't help, you know, being locked up, you know, lockdown, whatever, didn't help us. So now we have to deprogram the students. And, and it is a hard thing to do. You know, we are dealing with many, many personalities, many different uh, 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 characters, you know, uh, John is acting up because his parents are divorced. Uh, Maria is not doing well because there's no food at home. Uh, you know, little Charlie has mental problems that nobody wants to address. Mm. You know, there's many, many things that the school district is, is trying to do and help with. We have thousands and thousands of students from elementary, pre, uh, preschool, all the way to high school. You know, and my hat's off to those teachers. They're really working hard and trying to make a difference. Administrators, uh, people in central office, social workers, mm. you know, they, uh, and those are the first ones that are called in whenever we have a situation like we're dealing with right now at the moment, so. Listen, I challenge you, every, every, anybody who is listening to us, to do an act, of, an act of kindness when you can. No, let's make when it once a day. Let's make it once a day. Once a day. Yeah, once a day. Once, once a, a day, day would be nice. An act of mm -hmm. kindness. Mm -hmm. That act of kindness can be a phone call. A phone call to a friend and say, hey, Mr. C, I was thinking about you today. Mr. C kept checking on me while I was going through the college. He probably looked at his song, oh, not him <laughs> again, no. <laughs> So I am grateful for that, very, very grateful. And, and I had so many other great friends that keep doing that for me. So an act, an act of kindness a day 
do an act of kindness. Smile, say hello to somebody. Okay? A good morning. Buy somebody, somebody, mm-hmm. somebody lunch, breakfast, whatever. Mm-hmm. But just do it. Yeah. Just do a it. good morning yes. will go a long ways for someone that might be having a, a bad day, a, a bad, bad morning. Day. We don't know what those people are dealing with. You know, uh, have a good day. That's right. You know, just something like that. Be kind. Be be human. Uh-huh. You know, I think Mother Teresa said it right that, you know, we've forgotten that we belong to each other. When I, uh, when I first came on uh, uh, as a police officer, one of my training, one of my field training officers uh, used to tell me, this. He used to do this all the time, and I learned that for him. Shake a hand, make a friend. Wow. Shake a hand, make a friend. Of course, right now, <laughs> with <laughs> what we're dealing with is... Uh, Wherever you are, Deputy, uh, well, retired now, um, Deputy Chief uh, uh, Terrence Hall, thank you. Shake a hand, make a friend. Wow. He made an impact on oh. your life. Forever. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Forever. One act of kindness a day. Thank you so much. And remember, look forward. Don't look back, okay? You're not alone. You're not alone. Let's work together. Let's be the village that we need to be in order to move forward and for our youth to have a better future, including ourselves. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Like one kind, one act of kindness every day. Just once a day, be kind to someone. An act of kindness, something that will help somebody else have a better day. Thank you. Thank you. Till next time.